Hi, this is Joy the Cob Chick with the Keystone Cottage. And last night was the first time that my spouse and I stayed overnight in the cabin. Now, or in the cottage. And I had done that before, maybe a year ago, something like that, before the roof was put on. Um, so it's in the month of February, so it got a bit cold. But at the same time, sometimes it's better to brave the cold rather than the mosquitoes. So that's the way we determined that one. But I thought you might be interested in going in, taking a look, and uh, seeing how we handled everything. <laughs> Alright, so keep in mind there's no doors or windows. We did have some army cots. So some military cots um, that we are borrowing from a friend. So it's nice that we're able to sleep off of the ground. And this right here, it's a bit sandy at the moment. But I have the broom over there in the corner, and so before I go to bed, I sweep it really good. And that way, if we need to stand up in the middle of the night and rearrange our blankets, our covers, whatever, then that works. Um, as you notice, I have three doors. So I was able to take some of the scrap wood that I have over here that's just been kept in the cottage. And um, this was for the roof, so I've been able to take that and um, just kind of plug up some of the doors. Not completely, but at least to keep the draft off of us while we sleep. So I put that one there, and it's held up with the um, wagon that we use for different things, and it's got hay in it right now. So that's nice. And we add another piece of scrap wood we put right there. That's nice. And then this one, this piece of scrap wood is actually, we're using this as our main door right now. So when it's actually time to go to bed, we're going to slide this over, slide the chair over, and it holds it in place. So if we need to get out during the middle of the night, we just pick it up carefully, slide it, you know, maybe a foot to the right, enough to enough room for us to get out. And this right here, this table, this area is kind of working at a little, as a little functional space for us. So we've got some Brussels sprouts. Later on, we're going to have some salsa. We've got some chips going on. And a little plug here. Some people say, oh, what are you going to do about a heating source, all this stuff? You know what? My observation is that this three-wick candle at least broke the chill. So I'm not saying it's going to keep it that way like all night but at least you could tell a difference in the evening time whenever you come in through the door with that three wick candle now it was really really nice periodically my husband did turn on this lantern and um i guess it's got something going on with it um to where it's uh just kind of going out after a few minutes so it kind of worked in our favor because my husband would turn it on and it would get things real nice and cozy and we'd just conk out and go to sleep so that worked out really, really nice. And I do hope to include a picture of how everything was glowing with the lantern inside the cottage, the view from the outside with the windows all lit up. It was absolutely lovely. So, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please hit like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know more what you want to see. And I hope this was very interesting to you because so many of you are asking me, have you stayed the night in the cottage yet? How did you function? How did you deal with it? What does your spouse think of it? Has he stayed the night? And so hopefully this answers all of those questions and more. So thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Bye.